Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to upload a file in the database using a Spring Boot application. Here you can see I have already created a Spring Boot app project. And in the bomb.xml I have added dependencies for Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, Spring Boot Starter Web and H2 database. Now we will start by designing the data layer by creating the model class. Uh, first we will create a package which ends with model and inside that we will add a class called file db the properties in the class are id uh, of type string name of type string type of type string and data which is of type byte array. Now we'll make this class as an entity class by adding the annotation at entity. And we will call this table as files by using the annotation at table. Then we'll annote id field with at id annotation so that it will be denoted as primary key. And we need to annotate data field with at lob annotation. Uh, this is because we are converting the uploaded file into a byte array and data in this field will be large. So using at lob annotation, we are telling the database that data in this field is large. Now we'll generate the getter setter methods. Then we will add the constructor. And also we'll add a default constructor. Next, we will create a package uh, which ends with a repository and then we will create an interface called FileDB repository. We will annotate this interface using at interface annotation and then extend it with JB repository. Here we need to provide the model class name which is uh, file db and followed by its primary key type uh, which is string. So the repository interface is ready now. Now we will create a package for service class and we will call this service as file db service. Here we will annotate this class using at service annotation and this class will mainly have three methods. One is to save the file to db, second one is to get list of files in db and third one is to retrieve a single file. We will start with the method to save file. Let's call this method as public void store uh, with parameter multipart file. Inside the method, we will declare a variable which holds the name of the file. We will get the name, file name using the file.get file original name. After that, we will create an instance of file db. And inside the constructor, we need to pass uh, the id as first parameter. For generating the id, we will use the uid class that is uid dot a random uid dot to string the second parameter we have already passed the file name so the third one uh, we need to pass the type uh, which will be the file dot get content type and finally the the last one we uh, we need to pass the file data so that uh, for that we will use file dot get bytes next we need to inject file db repository interface for that we need to declare a file db repository global variable and annotate it with at autoware annotation. Then we will use the save function in the file db repository to save the file db instance. Here you can see an error for IO exception. So let me use throws IO exception for this method. Then we will return the file db instance. 
Now our stored method is ready. Next we will create a method for retrieving a single file. The return type of the method would be file db and name as get file by id with id as parameter. Then return then type return uh, file uh, db repository dot file by id id. Since the return type of the file by id is optional, we will declare a variable called file optional and assign the value into it. Then we will check if the value is present. If value is present, then we will call the get method and return uh, its value. Else, uh, we will uh, we'll return null. Now we will add a method to get all files from the db. The return type of this method would be list of file db and name as get file list. Inside the method, we will return file repository db dot find all. This find all function would return all the files from the db. Next, we will create a package and in that we will add a class called file db controller class. Here we will add annotation at trust controller and add rest mapping with value file. After adding the annotation, we can define our AP endpoints inside this class. As similar to the previous service class, we add, will add three methods here. The first one is to save file with the return type file db and we will give its name as upload file and it will have one argument of type multipart file. Before the multipart file, we will add an annotation called at, uh, at request param with value as file. Here we need to inject a bean for uh, file db service class and in the method we need to call file db service dot store and pass multipart file object. Here also we need to throw io exception. Next we will add method for retrieving a single file. Uh, for the previous method we forgot to add annotation called post mapping. Post -mapping. Uh, this denotes that user need to call this API with HTTP method type as POST. And for the method which retrieves single file, we'll add annotation called at gate mapping and add a path variable in the URL. Here this means that user can download a file by providing the ID of the file in the URL. But in the method, we need to access this ID. So for that, we'll add annotation at path variable and provide its value as ID followed by we will declare the, uh, the field id. Now we will call the method find by id of the file db service class and return its value. Next we will add the method for returning all the files in the db uh, with uh, return type as list of file db and name as get file list. And inside the method, uh, we will call uh, file db service dot get file list. Now we'll add annotation called it get mapping with uh, I think in the above, I must add a curly braces. And for the uh, for this method, we'll add the URL as slash list. So that's all about our controller class. Now let's go to the application dot properties file. Uh, here you can see that I have already added uh, some properties. Uh, like the first one uh, is for uh, uh, like called Spring dot database dot URL. Here I have provided the uh, URL of uh, of my H two database in the local. Uh, and the second properties, uh, I have co uh, commented it. Uh, this is to, to denote that 
during the starting of the project whether we need to create all the tables uh, based on our entity class so uh, currently i haven't created any table in uh, in my database uh, so for now i uncommented it so other alternate approach is like uh, we can create all the tables in the database and and start the project so currently i haven't prepared any sql script so the application would itself create the uh, all the tables in the database so now let's run this project now you can see the uh, logs in the console so let's go to the postman here you can see that i have selected the http type as post and url as uh, http slash localhost 8080 slash file and and body as form data and i have given a key as file and i have chosen a, a, some random file and after choosing the file we will click the send button now you can see uh, a json uh, if uh, a json is returned now uh, the fields here are id name type and data let's copy this id field and let's change the HTTP type as get and URL I have added file slash the ID. Now let's click the send button. Now you can see that a JSON is returned. So using this we can uh, retrieve a single file. Now let's uh, see all the uh, list of files. Uh, for that we'll change the URL. Uh, like file slash list and let's hit the send button so that's all about uploading a file in your database and retrieving it back if you like this video please click the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please click the uh, subscribe button thank you